Okay. Um, everyone asked for this in the chat and more. Um, we don't do spam and we don't do newsletters that you don't ask for. So we do have a new product newsletter. It's only if you ask for it. And uh, there's no pop ups. You have to no go and yeah. sign up. Sign up. We're actually, it's, it's going to have to, we hide it. Yeah. <laughs> we make it very difficult yes. to, to get any emails from us. That's how we respect privacy. So, anyways, yes. we just rolled that out. So, anything that you see here will be in the new product newsletter. All right, lady, take okay. it away. Boom. Okay, right. first up, fast. update. Updated product. We have the Raspberry Pi Zero camera kit. Uh, this is the Pi Zero, not the Zero W, so we put this pack back in. And now we have it with the new Raspberry Pi official case and the short little camera cable. So it's less expensive and it's lovely. We have both the Raspberry Pi 8 megabyte um, megapixel and the no IR 8 megapixel is the black one. So both options are available and yeah. they're in the store now. All right. Just like before, but better. But better. Darker. Casier. Yeah. Okay. Hey, look, someone's logo's on that too. All right, cool. Next up, <laughs> what else you got? Uh, we've got a uh, thermocouple. This is a K-type thermocouple, and it has a metal tube on the end. Uh, this is really handy if you want to use a K-type thermocouple and you want to like put it in liquid, or you want to not have like the exposed, um, you know, uh, welded tip. Uh, it's enclosed in um, a metal case, and so it has a little bit more uh, thermal mass to it. But otherwise, it's identical to all K-type thermocouples. And you can use it with any of our K-Type Thermocouple amplifiers. We have like four different options. Okay, next up. Uh, this is a Kelvin clip. It's uh, just basically what's called, even though Kelvin connectors tend to have four contacts, this is uh, a clip that has two metal um, uh, jaws, you can see here, but they're separated. So you can use it, for example, to grab a surface mount component and measure it. And you can do in-circuit measurements, of course, or component measurements. It's kind of handy every anytime you want to measure across something um, and you want to grip it. Um, this clip is a very inexpensive and easy way to do so. Maybe I'll show it. What so it's always really handy. If you drop resistors, that yeah. makes it easier to pick them up. Maybe I'll show it really fast on the overhead because it's a little interesting. So you can see a surface mount part. Oh, look at that. And these are the two jaws, and you can see they're separated. But they're grippy. They have little grips on them. So then I just soldered some wires, and you, know, you can connect it to your breadboard or something. A very handy kind of clip because most clips, you know, the metal goes all the way around mm. rather than being separated, as you see here. That's a Kelvin clip. From the Lady to playlist. Yeah. All right. I like when you stock tools that you use. That's cool. Yeah, okay. I use these. All right, next up. It is a five AA battery holder. We have four, we have six, now we have five. Why? Is this going to be like those razor blades? Like, we're going the six blades. This has moisture strips. Now, yeah. This has four AA batteries and a 2.1 millimeter DC jack. And the reason we went with five is because uh, we've been building some robots and we want to power them with an Arduino and Arduinos have a 5 volt regulator and the 5 volt regulator needs about 1 volt or 2 volt above 5 volts to operate properly and so if you use a 4 AA battery holder it only gives you 6 volts not enough and if you use a 6 AA battery holder it's too big and you're just like it's just like this unwieldy thing so 5 is it's like a battery transport device right in the middle yeah this is right in the middle it gives you 7.5 volts um, from alkaline batteries, you know, about six volts from uh, nickel metal hydride batteries. It's just, just the right amount to drive a, a Arduino or a robot, and it fits into our little robot chassis quite well. Okay, and then next up. And this is the Esperino, Esperino Wi-Fi. Hard to pronounce, easy to use. It is a JavaScript microcontroller. We love it. microcontrollers with embedded uh, evaluation engines, and this is one of them. It has uh, the interpreter for JavaScript inside. It's an STM 32F4 chip, and we've had the Esperino for a while, but now this version has an ESP8266 on the back. And so you get Wi-Fi with your Esperino, which is amazing. So you can do JavaScript, um, you can connect to it over USB, uh, you can type in code, there's a web ID as well, and you can connect to the interwebs. And it comes fully assembled. Okay. Maybe I'll show it really quickly. All right, show got, it really quickly. Well, it's got this module on the back. So it's got this. It's got all these legs, but then on the bottom, an ESP8266. It's quite cute because it's like exactly the same size. Um, and what's nice is how simple it is. It's just the chip, USB, some power stuff, and a reset button so you can get started quite quickly with the Esperino Wi-Fi. Okay. We have two stars of the show tonight, both from people here. 
What's this? Why don't you tell, talk uh, about this? Yeah. Here, we can put <clears throat> this in. Hold on. Let me get so we have here. this great animation. Yep. Now, oh, what is why don't you explain this? this while I power this up? So we, we, we had the scroll fat and I think that was the driver chip we had at the time. That was the most LEDs we could stick on there. And that was cool, that was a good start. And I think then, basically, okay, you released your Charlie Plex boards mm -hmm. and we got MBS. There are a lot of LEDs. Yeah. So we, we, got, we got LED MV. Yes. And so, for PWMs. Yeah. If you like the PWMs. So we made this and we made it fit kind of so it covered pretty much all of the fat. Yeah. As much as possible. And so you've got, so the previous version had how many LEDs? It's some. I don't some. Know. I didn't count them. This has more. This has more. And, um, okay, so let's go to the overhead because we've got this scrolling thing going. Yeah. Ooh. I'll click this maybe. Look at that. It's so bright. But so it's got yeah. this like, nice swirly display. Did you cut that up? No, I don't code. I'm the worst coder oh, ever. Sorry. I don't engineer, I don't code. I <laughs> hack. Okay. Well, did you I hack this code results. together? No. Okay. This is John playing with shaders. Okay, this is there cool. Was, there was the really cool uh, forest fire demo, though. Okay. If you see that, that, that does kind of a, yeah. Okay. A the, cellular automata. Oh, like a uh, game of life. Okay. So yeah. uh, it comes in all white with these beautiful LEDs, and uh, it's I2C, and it works on a Pi Zero. Well, it's the same size as a Pi Zero. Oh, wait, it's slowing yep. down, and it's going to go back around. Yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Oh, so oh neat. neat. <laughs> That's so nice. Um, it's the same size as the Pi Zero or Pi Zero W, but it works with any Raspberry yeah, Pi. Yeah, 40-pin header works and, with uh, anything. Just between you and me, I kind of like the little slim style more than the hat style because I hate that EEPROM thing because it always conflicts. Yeah. You know? One of these days, we're going to use that. We're going to learn how no, to put I, the code in it. I, put, I burned the ID in, but it's yep. like, I, I'm like, well, I don't know how to make it do anything. Well, no, so. you, you're supposed to get the overlay on there completely. Oh, so really? it just loads it all, yeah. Um, and it just works. Is that because over the overhead, it's hard to tell. Um, is it warm white or cool white? Uh, I'd, I'd call that slightly cool. Slightly cool. cool. I yeah. think it's pretty cool. It's pretty yeah. cool. We could try showing it on, on the big screen. Maybe it's a little clearer. But it's great because you can put gels in front of it very easily and yeah. change the color. Yeah. So we have the robot kit. Mm -hmm. but oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. I actually kind of like should be stocking that soon, but that makes it orange. Yeah. Yes. So it takes a color very well. So, okay, so we've got this, and it's got all the PWM sets so lovely in Python, yep. and that's the IS. 31 FL744. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, they came up with some chips now that can do 8x8 grids too. Cool. Just like last week. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll get you some samples. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then uh, our big announcement, Play Data, it's here. This is Circuit Playground Express. So um, I actually completely, totally forgot to put these in stock before the show. So I'll do that tomorrow, but you can sign up now. Yeah. Um, so this is the latest Circuit Playground. Um, all the stuff we've learned from the previous Circuit Playground is now in this one. It's very similar looking to the previous version, but it comes with an AtSAMD21 chip. It's much more powerful, like six times the speed, eight times the flash, eight times the RAM. It has a much bigger speaker and speaker driver. It's got um, infrared receive and transmit, so you can like do remote control stuff as well as communicate between Circuit Playgrounds. It has um, two megabytes of SPI flash, so it can run Circuit Python on it, and you can store the data on it. And um, it's got the same sensors, accelerometers, capacitive touch, alligator clip pads, you know, battery connector, switch buttons, and all that good stuff. Um, the reason that we've updated is um, we wanted to make a board that wasn't just Arduino but could use other programming languages. So by going to this bigger chip, we unlocked. It can also use um, CircuitPython mm -hmm. and it can also use Arduino. Yeah. So it, it can do almost everything. Whatever mode you want. And I like that it can grow into the projects you want to do. Yes. Um, and uh, let's see what else. Oh, there's Mainly it has um, cute icons. Yeah, and you can, uh, but MakeCode is the th first tutorial that we have um, up. And so uh, check out the learning guide about how to use that. You can use it in the emulator. And um, we are not quite ready to put tons of them in stock, but tomorrow we're going to put in about 50 to 70. And um, so sign up and we'll, we're going to have them for only one person at a time. Like we like to do that to, to get going um, while we wrap up all the support. We also have a little starter kit. Yeah that comes with a battery pack, um, a USB cable, and three AAA batteries. Um, the battery pack has an on-off switch, so you can use that for on-off switch, and it comes in a little box. So we'll be doing a lot more with Circuit Playground Express, but this is our first um, you know, developer revision. Uh, we've released it, the hardware's done, 
And now it's just a matter of basically writing code for all of these different platforms. Yeah. Um, and we're really excited. We'll, we'll carry both for a little bit, but eventually we're going to probably transition just to the Express. Okay. And with that, Lady Ada, this new products. Good work. Yay.